I used to dream about coming to New Zealand. I studied uh, IT back home and the plan was to, after finishing my university, go abroad and for higher studies. And uh, that's what like, you know, brought me to New Zealand. It, it was my dream, it was my you know, dream destination. Are you from Fiji, bro? Nah, I'm from India. Yeah. Mm. But I'm just saving some money, you know, so planning to get married soon. You're getting married? Yeah, so I would like to go back home, get married. It's a eight-day wedding extravaganza that we're going to have. In Fiji? In India. Uh, of course, in India. Yeah. For this weekend, if you can. Uh, for some cucumbers, uh, spuds, and you got cool eggs? Cool. Yeah, well, I'll get the whole three out. And if you can get them here for the weekend, it'll be real good. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes I think I'm in a dream. The days slip past me until I see her again. Her dark skin, her black hair. I think, I think I'm in a dream. She was also bought by her husband to live in New Zealand. Yeah, he owns a dairy. I saw her one day delivering bread. Her husband was on the phone and she came out. She didn't speak a word of English. She still doesn't. Is it wrong to love somebody else before you get married? <laughs> Someone else's wife is my dream. Such is life. I can't take the night shifts anymore. It pays more because it's the graveyard shift. You said that you were saving up for your wedding. I can't take the nights anymore. I work in the daytime. I work every night. I work to save to bring the woman who will be my wife to New Zealand. Once upon a time, I worked to save for a wedding for her. Now I work because another man's wife is the love of my life. I have enough money for the wedding. Even the full eight day extravaganza. But I cannot do it anymore. The first time she was alone. Her husband had gone out. Somebody tried to steal money from her till. She shouted and I I I dropped the crates of breads and ran to her help and I stayed with her just in case the person come back. I stayed with her longer than I should. I never knew how alone I felt until that night. All these years earning money, driving taxi, earning money, Driving delivery vans, earning money. Driving from back door to back door in empty nights. Saving more and more for what? For my dream to live in New Zealand? 
to bring a wife, make a family, a happy Indian Kiwi family. She made me feel lonely with her loneliness. When I touch her, I touch a part of myself that I will never let out. It will stay in the secret emptiness inside me. That is the lonely man who came here on a dream of a life everyone says is worth living. You right there, Mitch? We're here. We're here? Yeah. Good. Hey, um... <clears throat> good luck with the girl, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <sighs> Take care. You too. Sometimes working, so you have barely an hour in the week by yourself to think keeps you from falling and thinking about what you cannot control. <laughs> 